pretty late. It's almost midnight. I just got home from work. Uh, before I left earlier today, I, I set up um, all the gear, and then when I got home, I, I put the kayak on there. The next two days, it's just past the new moon, uh, so sunrise is right about 5.50 tomorrow morning, and the start of outgoing tide is at 6.30. I was out there five days ago, and that's when I, I scored three yellowfin tuna. One got bitten half by a shark, but all good size. One thing I am keeping an eye on, a big rainstorm south of the island. The wind's supposed to be totally down tomorrow morning, you know, less than five knots or and even 10 knots throughout the day, uh, as well as the following day, uh, which I'm also off. So the plan is to hit it twice, see if I can't capitalize. Well, the plan to go this morning uh, kind of fell through. I got up and I checked the, the radar again and that huge storm cell looked like it was about to hit the island. And so I just I just made the call from just laying in bed that I was gonna skip it. It did cross my mind to just drive over there and give it a shot, but I figured it wouldn't be worth it. And then sometime between four and six a.m. from when I had first checked it, the whole storm system what I was looking at was, was rain on the radar that turned and went to the uh, went to the east. It's better to be safe than sorry. I've been caught out in some really bad weather around here and really bad weather coming from the south side of the island, which is generally the safer part. One hour later. Look at all that bait, isn't that crazy?
Hooked up 250. Not sure what it is. I'm right on top of the bait again. Tons of bait. So much bait. I could probably see it down in the water right now. I wonder if I foul hooked it. Harbor. I think it's a yellowfin tuna. Yeah, channel one zero over. Yeah, go ahead. I'm I'm hooked up. All right, region Lima Charlie, we're outbound. All right, cool. Just come out. I'm kind of in between the 250. Tons of bait. I just got sharked. Yeah, got sharked. Sticking out bait number two now. I just came over the bait and now there's tons of marks down below it. I'm pretty sure those are all freaking sharks. So it's gonna be really hard to get a fish past them. Maybe it was a shark that I had before. It was fighting a lot more like a, a yellowfin tuna though. It had the head shakes. But we'll see if we can't hook up again. It's right before or right at high tide right now. Bait is freaking out. I haven't seen it in a little bit. Hooked up again. Lost it. I don't know what that was. Hit like a Shivi, ran kind of like a Wahoo, and then just cut off. All right, here we go again. This is the biggest bait I've got. possibility that that was a, a just a big yellowfin tuna and it just bit straight through my line. Found the bait again.
feeling that this is a shark though. So I'm just trying not to get sharked right now. I found the bait again, Jack. Just come out towards where I am. I'm hooked up again. I'm just seeing lots of big sharky marks. I've got him hooked pretty good. The chance that this is a shark but I'm just gonna push her out for deeper water. That was a bad feeling. I think I just got hit by a shark. Did you get cold, brother?
Man, I hope that's a fish and not a shark. There are so many sharks swimming down around this. I keep opening my bail to let the fish run. I'm pretty sure it's a tuna. All right, boost them. I'll try to steer the shark away from you. All right, I'm just trying to tow this thing. So I'm gonna turn around full speed and be going the opposite direction here in a second. I'm marking bait right now. Oh. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's not small. I just don't want to get sharks. Yeah, I got you. That last one might have been a big yellowfin too and just bit through my line. The sharks. No, it's not a shark. It would have wore through my leader by now. What's that? It's a 30 pound leader. All right. I'm marking big, long, streaky marks at 100, so. Let's try it again. You're fine. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Either I'm going to get massively sharked or... Or you're going to get a nice fish. Yeah. But, did you find any bait over there? I wanted to look over there good before I came out here. Yeah. Well, I marked them a couple times now. They're fatties too. This one is like 13 inches. Yeah, I like the fat ones. They make two of them. Yeah. Alright. This is getting pretty ridiculous. I just need to reel this thing in. If I get sharked, I get sharked. If this is not a tuna, I'm gonna be pretty irritated too.
I got the bouncy head shake now. Ugh. Yeah, there's other marks though. But I just needed to accept it and <laughs> drag it in and if I get sharked, I get sharked. You got that new fancy dancy garment, don't you? Yeah. Well, I think they actually this is a 2017. I don't even know if they make this model anymore. But it's the kind... I got to 50 feet. Alright, well it's at 50 feet, so you're gonna see it. I see the mark now. That's it. Yeah, it's a Shibi. Not a monster, but I've never babied a fish this much just to get it in. But after getting sharked on that first one, yeah. If you don't mind getting some underwater, my my underwater GoPro died, or the battery ran out before. He's on the right. He's straight down there. This guy's got to be so worn out. Got him. Got him. Oh. 30. Shit, shit, shit. That's all right. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> What? This has got to be the size that you and Jack Jack caught. Oh, yeah. 32 pounds around there? Yeah. Maybe. 
I don't know. I suck at guessing the weights. Yeah, I know. They always seem to get smaller when you get in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this as quick as I can. All the blood is long and gone. It pretty much bled out when when I coggied it. So I'm not that worried about sharks. Good fish. And he had swallowed it, so. Another bait going out, another big one. This guy looks pretty healthy. My friend Jack over there just had one, had something on and then cut him off. But the plan is to head back towards where I hooked into that the 30 pound shibi, kind of right around the same area where I was getting all that action earlier and then I'll vertical jig if I see something. But it'd be nice to get one more fish. It's 9.08 now. I don't know what the bite time is, but I have a feeling we're right in the middle of it. Vertical jig, 285. <sighs> <sighs> no, I lost it. Dang it, I hooked up on the vertical jig too. Big shebe, but lost it. Just kidding, still on. <laughs> Okay, now I lost it. Oh, idiot. Super nervous. I'm on so much bait right now. Mark something down at 200. I might as well jig on it. It's in the minor bite time right now, but there's been zero action since it started. So I'm 
thinking that all the action was before the bite time. Yeah, those few that I picked up the other day, I only kept like one loin off of it. I just gave the rest away. Miller's probably your best friend, isn't he? Well, he doesn't have to go fishing because I just give him fish all the time. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Pretty sure I just got cut off. All right, crusty old pillow. I'm gonna drop that down. I'm in 195, and I've been marking quite a bit of stuff down there. So just let it drift down with no weight. Hopefully. Entice a, a job fish and cuckoo. Shark. First thing I'm gonna do is cut some chunks off of this and then I'm gonna soak it or marinate it in soy sauce for right around uh, at least a half an hour but probably longer because I'm gonna take Charlie for a hike. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. And also a special thanks to everyone who's purchased a decal. Just as a reminder, if you want to enter the decal giveaway, just be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and then comment down below.